walked around the store once before he started boasting about not having sales and we'll talk to you later <laughs> thanks. Right, thanks well the re-election of president obama could be bad news for coal companies mitt romney had actually campaigned on a platform to unleash america's energy resources he would have relaxed regulations on coal mining now there is a perception that the president is anti-coal because of that coal stocks had a big drop last week take a look at body energy down 10 percent since the election just one example. Joining us now, Ken Blackwell, former Secretary of State for Ohio. Uh, Ken, you know, I, I think it goes without saying that we know that the president is anti-fossil fuels, uh, but a lot of people think that his administration wants to just kill the coal industry. Well, he's created, Charles, a, a zero-sum game among uh, sources of energy. Uh, in 2008, before his election then, he talked about a, a, a strategy that would make it unthinkable uh, for uh, coal-powered uh, plants to go forward. He actually uh, predicted that they would go bankrupt. So uh, nothing in his first four years has indicated that he has taken a, an all-of-the-above strategy, uh, not only to... Uh, you know, fuel economic growth, but to uh, put us in a position of uh, energy independence. So, so what do you think then, Ken? Uh, because, you know, listen, uh, we've seen some coal companies actually go out of business. We see a lot, just judging from the reaction in the stock market, a lot of them continue to be in trouble. I would say if it wasn't for the export market, perhaps, you know, particularly China, that many would also already be out of trouble. Can they, can they make it through some of the draconian measures that the EPA is forcing on them? Well, you know, the EPA was supposed to come out uh, uh, by regulation uh, with, with, some, with some new rules uh, and regulations, and they put, postponed that until after the election. So I would anticipate this week or next week we're going to see more draconian regulations that will uh, strangle economic uh, growth, uh, job creation, yeah. and put a, a, a chokehold on the coal industry. Ken, what do you think went wrong here in terms of Mitt Romney's messaging? This should have been a big issue win for him. Moving forward, we're going to have to correct that. What do you think about that? Well, if, if you look at the coal uh, uh, counties in Ohio, Romney did win. The, we just didn't get the numbers out of those counties to compare with uh, some of the big urban counties uh, and his uh, tremendous uh, advantage, meaning uh, Obama's tremendous advantage among 18 and 19 year old and, and, and single women. Um, so we're, we're going to have to begin to, as I do with the Family Research Council, we put this, this is not just a coal issue. Uh, this is an income issue. This is a job issue. This is an economic independence issue. And so we're going to have to frame it so fam working families begin to understand whether there are single family, single mother head of households or, or two parent households, that it is in right. their interest that this president looks at coal as a source of jobs, economic growth, uh, and uh, a lower cost of doing business in, in not only our state, but in the nation. But, uh, you know, obviously that's not going to happen with the administration. I mean, you just talked about the EPA being more draconian. For me, that's akin to dropping two atomic bombs on Nagasaki. I mean, can it get any more draconian than they've been? I, you know, listen, the president, the night he was reelected, Ken said, you just gave me the mandate for clean energy. So, I, you know, I just almost say it's almost time to play taps for the industry. Well, I, you know, we're going to have to understand that one of the reasons that we have 30 Republican governors uh, out of our 50 states uh, and we have a House of Representatives uh, right. that is uh, uh, made Ken, up uh, Ken, of a majority of Republicans, we have to have them speak back to this president's right. administration. I agree. You know what? They're going to have to also speak to the American public in a way they understand. Ken, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Good to be and with you. President Obama, he was reelected despite high unemployment, the dismal economic situation.